Hi guys, Dr. Burke here. Listen, I have a question for you, especially diabetics. Why do doctors give insulin to diabetics who have too much in the first place? Okay, and I'm talking about diabetics who are type 2, not type 1, but type 2. Type 2 diabetics have too much insulin, okay? So why would your doctor recommend more insulin? It doesn't make sense. Well, they're probably giving it to you because it's too high in the blood. You have, your sugar is too high and they're trying to bring it down, okay? Because insulin lowers blood sugar. But my question is, why? What causes this problem in the first place? And it's really insulin resistance, okay? What happens when you have too much insulin, your body rejects it by becoming resistive to that hormone. So if the cell is blocked, that means there's low insulin and glucose inside the cell, triggering a communication back to the pancreas, telling the pancreas to make more insulin, okay? So the more insulin that you're given, and the more insulin that the pancreas makes, the more the body resists it to insulin, okay? And so that's why it's high. So we have to realize that high sugar is late on the chain of events, and the purpose of medicine is to manage diabetes, okay? That's what they're trying to do, manage it with drugs. But if we go earlier, it's an insulin-resistant situation, and the diet is not fully changed. In fact, the American Diabetic Association recommends up to 130 grams of carbohydrates every single day. And a lot of those carbohydrates in the form of grains, that's the fiber, okay? Well, guess what? That's gonna turn into sugar and raise insulin even more. So really, the diet is never fully fixed, the insulin resistance is never fixed, and the blood sugar is never fixed, so you have to stay on medication. Okay, so the next time you're with your doctor, I want you to ask them why are they giving you insulin if your insulin is already high in the first place, and see what they say. All right, thanks for watching.